Well, tomorrow morning, a local man will run in his 200th marathon at the Erlanger Chattanooga Marathon. 73-year-old Truman Smith has gone all over the world competing in races and shared some experiences with our Mary Frances Hoots today. She shares some of his stories. He didn't start to seriously run until he was 40 years old, which means he would have completed 200 marathons in 33 years and 192 of those coming in the last 17 years. So I'd be glad to get this one in the book. And I've got plans to do 201 two weeks from now, but that's not a, that's not a, that doesn't bother me at all. I can just get this one out of the way. 73 year old Truman Smith started this running journey 33 years ago. He's covered a lot of ground since then. In 2009, I had managed to finish a marathon in all 50 states, okay? And then, as a, as a new quest, uh, somebody brought to my attention the Seven Continents Club. In about three years, he has competed in races at the Great Wall, Rio, the Gold Coast in Australia, Berlin, Kilimanjaro, and Antarctica. He says Rio had the most scenic route. You ran along the beaches there, and every, about every six miles, you would go up on the side of a, a mountain and go through a tunnel, which was volcano that had run, you know, the lava had run off the side of the hills. He says races like these become addicting. We call it a running virus and there's no cure. <laughs> Once you get into this, it's really hard to, um, to get out. It hasn't always been easy, but there's a key to getting to the finish line. You gotta be patient and you can't, you know, you, you can't go out and try to finish in the first few miles. Because if you do, you'll be walking and praying towards the end. <laughs> Either way, it's always worth it. There's nothing like crossing the finish line in a marathon. The marathon starts Sunday at 730 and he just hopes he can make it in under six hours. For now in the studio, Mary Frances Hooch, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Mary Frances, thank you. All the